Good day to all the panels. My name is Law Wei Meng. Now I'm going to present my final thesis project, Bamboo High Rising, Bamboo as the Building Material for Modern High Rises. So carbon emissions has always been the hot topic when it comes to environmental threats. The increasing amount of carbon gases released from factories, transportation and energy consuming activities contributes to environmental problems such as climate change and global warming. So this data is just to highlight the impact of construction industries and buildings uh, as the large consumers of resources and energy and responsible to huge carbon emissions. So this is a list of embodied carbons uh, in each building materials, also showing the amount used of building materials that contribute to the high embodied energies in buildings. So not only in building materials, also the conventional construction methods, uh, such as formal construction, also contributes to more embodied energy through time-consuming and waste, wastage production construction methods, uh, not to mention uh, big-scale developments such as high-rise projects also contributes uh, into more carbon emissions throughout the construction process. So people might argue that reducing the operation energy is the key to reduce uh, carbon emissions as it takes up 70% of uh, energy usage throughout a building life cycle. But when we look into the future, where the factor of reducing operational energy reach to a constant, uh, there is a need to shift in the way we build our build environment with low embodied energy, where renewable building materials will become the key to hugely impact the reduction of embodied energy in future building design. So this is a list of issues ranging from high carbon emissions from fossil fuels combustion and cement manufacturing, uh, huge consumption of finite resources, uh, high energy embodied building materials, life cycle of uh, building materials are not considered and also time-consuming and wasted production construction methods. Therefore, the issues opens up the opportunity to look into an alternative sustainable building material such as bamboo to challenge the traditional construction methods while exploring the alternatives in building high-rise. So this is the aim of the thesis to introduce bamboo as an alternative building material by promoting bamboo as a sustainable building material that could be deployed as a major structural component for modern high-rise construction. So these are the design objectives to claim the use of bamboo as a sustainable building material, to explore the potential of bamboo in high-rise construction, and to promote bamboo as a major structural component for modern high-rise construction. So why bamboo? So bamboo as a material has a very fast growth rate. So from ranging from year one to year five, it could grow up to an efficient length of 20 meters. And bamboo is actually a very good uh, carbon sequester. Uh, with a well-managed bamboo plantation, it could actually sequest a lot of carbon throughout the plantation process. So bamboo is a natural engineered material, uh, often called the green steel, due to its remarkable strength and its uh, unique anatomy of this uh, bamboo comb with a hollow structure, which makes it an a very strong material and also an efficient material. So showing the bamboo production process, uh, which involves plantation, harvest to preservation, uh, which are all very uh, low energy intensive uh, activities. So comparing the manufacturing process between building materials, uh, between the finite resources, uh, uh, concrete and steel, and also renewable resources such as timber and bamboo, uh, which uh, involves less manpower and energy, less energy consuming. Some comparison of uh, mechanical properties uh, between bamboo and steel, showing bamboo have a high level of stiffness based on strength to weight ratio. So the question will be how to go high rise with bamboo. So the proposal calls for uh, this uh, structural concept by having a bamboo structural module. So by modularizing organic materials such as timber and bamboo makes them easier to be mass produced, prefabricated off site and also easy to be assembled on site. So giving this um, organic materials standards and order to ease site operation. So when we look into the typology of structure for bamboo, the bamboo structure often favors uh, more into V-shaped columns as it provides a more efficient log transfer. 
So the proposal looks into this form of octahedron. The form consists of eight faces of triangle. Uh, it's modular, provides a huge volume inside. It's stable because of its uh, eight faces of triangulations. Are stackable, so it's ranging like from singular module uh, expandable to bigger module configurations. Uh, moving into more complex module configurations, which opens up opportunities to move into vertical configurations. So the client of my proposal is INBAR, the international network for bamboo and rattan, well associated with Malaysia, carrying out a lot of bamboo workshops and conference. So this is my site location to propose a office tower in Medini Veridia Lake site. So the land use is commercial, having the land size of 2.3 acres. So bamboo is not new in Johor. Bamboo that are used in uh, building these uh, sculptures and pavilions uh, around Johor are locally sourced from Pontian, showing the potential of having this bamboo plantation in Johor. And moving into the site planning, so the site planning involves this separation of regular circulation and pedestrian zone uh, to actually address this pedestrian frontage towards the existing retails across the inner road. So by incorporating the placement of bamboo structural module to the site, uh, context responding to the site and also the site planning. So by addressing the lake as the prominent site context, uh, by including this uh, light lake site circulation as part of the site planning, uh, to blend in public recreational activities in future like site development. So moving into vertical placement of bamboo structural module, which to include more open spaces uh, like podium areas for views and also green space in between these tower spaces. So moving into the configuration of this bamboo structural modules as the office blocks to allow maximum view from the office blocks. So now the placement of the tower cores and services and vertical circulation in between these tower blocks. So as the bridging element between the bamboo towers enables this clear zoning of office spaces and corridor spaces. So next is the structural proposal, uh, my bamboo structural module. So starting from the form of the octahedron geometry, separating into three major structural components. First is the bamboo columns which consists of uh, six bamboo bundle joint columns. Uh, it, is, it can be prefabricated off-site, and these are some of the details showing how it's uh, joined to the steel jointings, and it is bent, and it is bundle joint. So the next component will be the beam bracing. So also consists of bundle joints uh, with plastic connectors to be assembled on-site. The plastic connectors are used as they are lightweight and hollow structured, uh, to reduce that load for the bamboo structure. And this beam bracing uh, brace holds the bamboo columns together, also distributing compressive and tension force along the module efficiently. So the next component will be the module holder, which are made out of steel beams and steel connectors, also to be assembled on site. So the module holder enables vertical and horizontal connection between modules. So this is the full bamboo structure module. So the module innovates uh, a system where traditional and contemporary practice come together and also to preserve this bamboo aesthetically as well as its technical qualities into a contemporary and architectural context. So the bamboo structure module uh, use up uh, 126 poles of bamboo, which will next uh, con contributes to this um, bamboo renewability calculation. So it shows that the regeneration of the bamboo modules for the whole building proposal only takes one month. So next to the construction process of the modular bamboo structure. So starting from placing the beam bracings to the bamboo columns into the uh, module holder. So this forms one singular uh, bamboo module and next into how the bamboo modules could actually be expanded and grouped and connected um, through this uh, steam connect, uh, beam uh, steel connectors into slab and also how to be stacked and into facade installation. So moving into the bamboo high-rising scheme, 
which uh, answers back to the thesis objective. Uh, so this high-rise construction always uh, having these problems of biohazard, uh, vertical circulation and building services and how to place the tower cores. So the scheme um, answers back by clear zoning the between bamboo and non-bamboo spaces and also to create uh, voids and natural ventilated spaces between the bamboo towers to create open corridors also to reduce uh, energy consumption for the building and to have this interior separate facades, interior facades and exterior facades so the exterior facade is to protect the bamboo structures from exposing to the weather and the interior facade gives opportunity to utilize uh, bamboo as a facade system. And next, lastly, is the bamboo structural modules as the major structural component uh, for this uh, bamboo high-rise construction. So this is the office layout model. So this office layout model is to visualize the integration of bamboo structural modules and also the interior spaces uh, featuring the structures as part of the interior features. Uh, so the users are able to visualize, to touch and feel. So next I'll be uh, showing my animation. Uh, so please enjoy. So in conclusion, the goal of the thesis is reached by integrating bamboo as the major structural component in high-rise construction, also exploring the potential of bamboo as a building material, moving a step forward into future sustainable high-rise built environment. Thank you.